Four construction pros from ConExpo 17 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And folks, I'd like you to meet now John Carpenter, who is the Director of Construction Digital Technology with Caterpillar. How are you, John? I'm doing great. Nice to have you aboard. It is great to be here. Well, you bring a lot to bear into this community now with construction and technology and digital and techniques and telematics right. and all of, all of the telefield. I, I'm sure one of these days we'll be talking Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. Well, what's, what's new and exciting on sure. your plate? Sure. What does this do digital technology bring to the fore? Well, I mean, basically, you know, Caterpillar has brought to the market world-class iron for right. decades. Right. And that's never going to change. Our, our display today and, and Con Expo shows all the new innovations and the rest Absolutely. of it. But what we're realizing is that there's a broader need at the job site, large and small, to be able to have visibility of all the job processes, et cetera. And there's also a, an opportunity to make each of our pieces of equipment easier to operate. Now, one of the big items that we're running into around the world is a dwindling labor pool of skilled operators. Absolutely. And so yeah. if we can start making simple processes of digging, loading, compacting easier to do, then we can take a lot of uh, labor that maybe wasn't as skilled and make them a lot more effective at the job site. If we can get data off of all the assets, not just ours, but any asset right. at the job site, right. that allows the customer to see what's going on overall. Absolutely, an umbrella view, if you will. Correct, correct. So how does this technology and CAT connect, how does this uh, work to, to help the customer? What does it sure. do for the customer? Well, we have a suite, first of all, of CAT Connect technologies. And I like to think of those as our enablers. Those are things that we put on the machine that allow us to offer uh, value propositions for the okay. customer. That's both telematics, right. but also grade, compaction, yeah. payload systems. Right. It's the services that really add the value. And that's productivity services, equipment management, safety, and sustainability. So what we like to do, especially through our worldwide dealer network, is everything we offer in our menu is driven by what the customers need. Right. So to sit down with a customer and ask them what's keeping them up at night, what is their definition of success? It could be making more money, winning more bids. It could be buying less equipment because they want to more efficiently use the assets that they have. Right. It could be, I want all my workers to be able to go home by five so they can see their kids play soccer. A time element. It could be quality, that I need to do this road exactly the way I'm expected to do. What the specs are calling for. And so with, yeah. with those value propositions, putting all this together allows us to either equip their Caterpillar or non-cat assets with the enablers to do that, or an aggregation of data for them to see idle time, total fuel burn, uh, operator gamification. Maybe they want to reward the operators that are burning the least fuel or right. loading the most material. Right. Now we have the data where you can see that in and real time. And you can time. actually read that. Exactly. I'm interested in a kind of a play on words, CAT being the job site brand as opposed to the brand being on the job site. And, and how, does that, how does that have a meaningful description to you? That's a great question. We, we like to believe, and I think it's true, that there's probably at least one piece of CAT equipment everywhere. Uh, there's a lot of good other, other pieces of equipment as well. There's a lot of equipment such as scissor lifts, light towers, buckets, right. forks, that often can get lost at the job. And what we want to become is a trusted advisor for the customer to be able to enable right. any of that. So other than just the brand of Caterpillar Iron, can we bring a brand of solving their problems through those four services I mentioned? That's our goal. So you think that uh, in, in the future, at least what you're looking at, you're, you're gonna be the overseer of, of a job site and you can bring that service into the mix. Correct. And, and it's, a, it's a desire to be, to be able to offer that. So the customer mm. is going to choose what they need. They may not need an overseer, they may need four or five elements out of 12, because they've already made a decision on the other eight. I got you. But can we be an integrator? Can we fill in those spots? I got you. Technology seems to be such an overriding mm. feature of Con Expo, the show itself this year. 
And can you tell us at all what you might have on the horizon or what's new sure. in your marketplace? Well, I think you'd agree the word technology is probably overused as well. Probably and, and true. You know, digital is overused as well. And, and uh, you know, even in our world, we have to define sometimes. There's right. technology that allowed us to meet the uh, emissions requirements of tier four, for Absolutely. example. But the technologies that we're bringing to bear now is how do you sensor up and enable the equipment to have enough sensors and capabilities to tell it what to do, for it to tell the operator or the job site superintendent what it's doing, and to optimize uh, processes so you can see progress against plan. Take loading, for example. Now with our payload systems, you can see how much is in your bucket and tip off if you need to. Right. You can, you can count the load not only in a payload system Absolutely. on the articulated truck, but also how much have I loaded in this particular pass. In fact, it's to the point where it's almost self-operating to the fact that, you know, you get on the job site, let's say you're, you're, uh, you're, you're building a roadbed. Right. And that's probably a good example because that piece of equipment on that roadbed is only going to dig to what the computer tells it it can do at a certain sp space and, and distance. You're spot on. And, and keeping it really simple, compaction, so on our screen on our rollers, you right. can actually see a, you know, a, a red to green, have I compacted too much, or have I compacted enough? You know, we did a really interesting time-lapse uh, video that we could make available to, to your uh, viewers uh, if they'd like. But we took a 400 meter stretch of road, right. took the same equipment, not all cat, same operators, and we did a road 400 meters right. from, from base all the way up to fully paved with technology and without. And the one with technology was done in half the time, burned less fuel, and more importantly, it kept humans off from having to come out and stake to measure. So it was done quicker, it kept people out of harm's way, it was more efficient uh, use of that time and material. Right. And you think about the U.S. infrastructure and the amount of money that's right. going to take. Right. And if the industry would start using these technologies, now that infrastructure dollar goes even more further. More infrastructure for less money. Exactly. And less money is what everybody's talking about. And safer. And safer. John Carpenter, you bring a heck of a message to everybody here at the show and to those of us watching here on Four Construction Pros and uh, wish you good luck. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. By. Very good. Appreciate From it. Con Expo 17.